Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Gracie and Brandy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Gracie's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivations that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Brandy is using a regular six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give here at school is a tiny little tug and release on the training collar. That is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Gracie's gonna come home with her very own training equipment and you're gonna be taught how to use that properly Sunday during your follow-up training session. Now she's sitting very nicely at Brandy's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Gracie heal. And healing is nothing more than walking like a lady on the end of the leash, not forging ahead or lagging behind. And each time that you stop your feet, she's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So when you're walking her down the street, she should be well under control. Those shoulders should stay even with your left leg. And each time that you stop your feet, whether it's to cross traffic or talk to a neighbor, she should be sitting quietly at your left and waiting for her next command. So the object too, when you're walking with her is to keep her head up. She's looking at me and keep her from becoming distracted and too full of herself. And Springers are notorious for being high strung and high energy. And this helps her to exercise her brain and to know that you do have boundaries and that you do expect her to be a lady on the leash. And Brandy's talking to her, telling her pay attention, look at me. Now the next command that we're gonna be demonstrating for you is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use her name. You can practice this command indoors as well as outdoors. You're gonna start out at about 45 seconds, and you're gonna slowly work up to a three minute long sit stay. That's regulation three minutes. When Brandy returned back to her, she walked all the way around her, counterclockwise returning back to where they started and at this point Brandy stopped. Now Brandy was moving more quickly with her and you saw her lose her focus. So start out walking at a normal gait like you would if you were taking her for a walk. And Brandy got her right back under control. She's going to leave her again in another sit stay. She walks out to the end of her training leash. Gracie's you know, fairly focused on Brandy. She's not getting up. This time, instead of returning back to her, Brandy's going to demonstrate the come on command. And she is to come and sit in front of you facing your knees. And then she returns to heel position. And this is so great for these sporting dogs to have to focus and pay attention and do obedience because she needs a job to do. And if you don't have a gun and a flock of birds, she doesn't have a job. So we're replacing her need to hunt with obedience. Brandy leaves her in another sit stay. She walks out to the end of the training leash and turns to face her. Now she fell into a down, so Brandy got her back up, told her sit and stay. And then when you call her, we do use her name. We do lighten our tone of voice, but you want her to come in like a lady. Brandy praise, is praising her and talking quietly to her. You don't want to amp her up. You want her to stay focused.
If she doesn't sit, Brandy's gonna tell her no sit and give that little tug on her training collar that we were talking about when we first started the video. Now the next command that we're gonna demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with her seated at your left, you're gonna take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. Now your long down stay is best practiced in the house. You're gonna work up to a five minute long down stay. And she also knows a go to place which Brandy will demonstrate for you when you pick her up on Sunday. When Brandy returns back to her again, she walks all the way around her back to her shoulders and stops. And then you have to tell Gracie what you want her to do next. And Brandy told her to heal and they start walking again. This is the last time you'll be seeing Gracie with a lot of hair because Brandy's gonna be taking all this hair off for you as per your request. As you're down and stay. And then Brandy will call her out of that and have her sit. So you never praise her again in the future unless she's sitting. When she's jumping all over and acting like a Looney Tune, you don't praise her or pet her or in any way reward that behavior. And we'll have a whole packet of information ready to go home with Gracie on Sunday as well. And the very last command that we're gonna demonstrate is you're down from a distance. So Brandy's gonna leave her in a sit stay. She's going to turn to face her. She's going to use her right hand to give the command this time. And she drops her into a down from a distance. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Gracie's formal on-leash obedience commands. It's very important that you keep these commands fresh in her mind. That's why we provide you with a video so that you can work with her at home. You can put your video up on your computer, work along with it. Please keep us posted on your progress. We are always here to help. We want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company, and we will see you on Sunday. I have you scheduled for between 1130 and 12.